Fall weather has officially arrived. Which means it's that time of year again when all the freshmen who came to campus with a boyfriend or girlfriend or are still dating that someone from high school will soon realize their pool of potential mates has grown significantly. That means many of you are just one text or Snapchat away from being single and back on the prowl. Arr. Yeah, with what we can only assume will be some tragic attempts at flirting. Mm -mm -mm. It's sad, really. Yeah. Shall we take a moment of silence for all these upcoming breakups? All right, anyway. And if you still need convincing that Sodexo really does love you, then maybe you haven't seen this beautiful new sight in the DC. I love juice. If you can dodge my Bethel, you can dodge a ball. Campus Activities has gone and done it again. They've arranged free cosmic bowling tonight from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. at Strikes and Spares on Grape. Peace and sprinkles. Stop. So I had a loyal fan tell me this week that things here at Bethel News are starting to look too official. I've got a problem with that. If you look to my right, you'll see some doors. Doors that lead to nowhere. That's official. If you look behind me, you'll see Queen Annika studying her script. And to her left, what do you have? Oh, trash. How official is that? I don't know what the problem is. Well, just to fix things up, we thought we'd add a more homely screen. That's beautiful. Oh, and we're kicking it back old school. Welcome to Bethical News. It's Bethical News with your hosts, Annika Van Weingarten and Drew Voss. Good morning, Bethel College. We have a ton to cover today, so we're going to dive right in. Come play Quidditch tonight from 9 to 11 on the intramural field. Bring a full team of 5 to 7, or arrive with a smaller group and form teams there. Don't have a clue how to play Quidditch. No worries. They'll teach you. <gasps> bring your own broom and social life. <laughs> Just kidding. They'll bring the brooms. <laughs> Remember how you always used to get lost walking from Founders of the Acorn? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Worry no longer. <laughs> Just follow Oak Tree Drive. <gasps> oh. What a relief. Wonderful. So you've probably noticed they've begun construction on the fence by the softball field. So our track and tennis courts will soon be demolished. So we've taken it upon ourselves to brainstorm alternate locations for our teams to practice. Mm. So my first thought, hey, the track could run sprints in the lodge basement. But then I realized, oh wait, they already do that. <laughs> so next, we tried pole vaulting in the Oakwood bathrooms. And as you can see, that was a fail. So we thought we'd have better luck with tennis. We first thought, hey, if the bookstore got rid of books to make room for a ping pong table, why not use it? Why not? That turned out to be bad for business. That's so great. So our last idea was sand volleyball has nets, so how about there? Well, that didn't work too well either. Well, it's not like it's gonna hurt their record. Oh, uh, we gotta go. Have a good weekend, Bethel. You know what I'm talking about? Fall break next week. Oh yeah, salad. Apparently campus safety has written 157 parking violations already this semester. Wow, and then we stumbled across something that made us question whether or not campus safety has the right to be critiquing people's parking habits. I'm sure he was just going to Puerto. Right. Who hasn't used that excuse? 